Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the happiest place in the UK, Alton <laughs> Towers! Uh, we popped along for no good reason really, we just what? thought, you know, we've got nothing to do on this lovely Friday that's very cold. And it feels like it's going to rain. Yeah, it feels like it's going to rain. So we thought, you know, we'll pop along to Alton Towers and film a little bit of a kind of update and kind of tips and tricks video for you guys at home. So. Well, what's your first tip, Amber? You got you had a good one before we uh, yeah, before yeah. we came, didn't you? So, um, if you come on a busy day or you see you come along and park your car, see them one or else got a queue. Obviously, the first thing you don't want to do on your first day is queue. So <laughs> easily, you can just walk straight up to the entrance. It's yeah. quite a mile walk. For about 15, 20 minutes, depends on how quick or slow you walk. Yeah. So yeah, fairly simple kind of walk. Um, you start over that way by the monorail station. Um, and by Extraordinary Golf, and then walk along this lovely path. Um, and as you'll see from the time-lapse footage, we'll show you the whole route of how to get there. So we'll see you at the plaza. Here, Amber. It reminds me of like when we go to like Germany and like stuff where you put the bottle in and it gives you money, but I think this yeah. one gives you like a 50% off to return, but that's only what I've seen from other people. But. Yeah, so it looks like you put the bottle into uh, this section here. Yeah, and then um, oh. compacting in progress. Do not introduce it other way. Oh, oh, it looks like it works kind of automatically. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. And then I'm assuming yeah. it just. And then I'm guessing it gives you a receipt if you've put in a bottle. Which is but, yeah. all right. Well, it's, it's, it's a nice right. recycling idea. Yeah, it's alright for some people that don't have an annual pass, but if you've got an annual pass, it's kind of useless, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah, we'll be using it. Uh. You've got another tip for us, have you, Amber? I do. <laughs> so, if you have an annual pass, or you book straight online via the Old Towers website, or probably any other website that gives you Old Towers tickets, you can go straight to Turnstiles. Otherwise, if you haven't bought your tickets online, you have to join this queue, which um, can sometimes be a bit big and external, <laughs> which doesn't sound very fun to me, but, yeah, but it's another tip to save time on the day. Yeah, luckily we've got annual passes, so we yeah. can walk straight in. Amber's full of facts today, what else have you got? <laughs> um, so yeah, on a day like today, um, well on any day, so they either sell cold drink refills or hot drink refills. Um, it's five pounds for a hot drink refill all day, however your first refill is a pound, and then every <laughs> refill is free I suppose after that. And then they've got yeah. the uh, cold oh, drinks, here. oh, if we follow you for this one. Seven pounds for a capsule, free refills all day, however you have to use it only on the day. It's well worth it if you're all sharing drinks, yeah, isn't it? If you've got like a family of like a big family, then I think it's a great idea. Yeah, but luckily it's just the two of us and we don't really drink that much on pipes. So. No, not seven pounds <laughs> worth of drinks. So yeah. Well, unless they filled it up with beer, then we'd then we'd use yeah. it. <laughs> about it when you consider it next to your pleasure beach at what is it 18 pounds this season pounds it, was. it was 12 pounds when we went but it's gone up already but yeah get your car park tickets as soon as you're coming because there's no queue yeah, well, look, how, look what we've got amber 
going on? It's the Scarefest hearse. It's coming. Halloween is coming. Yeah, not far <laughs> now. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. And the elusive, what is it? Project 42. 42. Oh, what do you think it is, Amber? I literally have no idea. No, I don't think anybody does at no the moment. Idea. But No, it's really nice to see the Halloween van out. Well, hearse, actually. Um, it says it's 6th to the 7th, 13th to the 14th, and the 19th of October to the 2nd of November. Long That's stint. quite a long <laughs> stint, isn't it? Yeah, no. But yeah, there we go. What, what is it? We've got a uh, patch there. Patch and... Oh, Franklin? No, Franklin's the... No, Franklin's, Franklin's the skeleton. Part. Patch and um, Phil. <laughs> it's Phil, isn't Phil. it? Yeah. But yeah. Looking forward to uh, Halloween. We will be doing a Halloween uh, vlog, won't we? From uh, well, a Scarefest vlog, of course. But yeah, can't wait for that. We're uh, hoping to get to a lot of events across the country this year, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. So plenty of content on the uh, Instantly Inverted channel for Halloween. You like this one, Amber? Go for it. You don't have to walk <laughs> if you get the sky right, do you? No. <laughs> So, no, this will save you time when you're uh, going across the park because it is a massive park, isn't it? Open, but open today, today from 12. 12. So, yeah, great idea. Get the sky ride. Apart from when it's windy. Yeah, <laughs> man, you can't get it when it's windy. Amber, they, they've done something to my baby. I know. What have they done to it? Oh no! Completely blocked. Oh, this is this is subterra. What's this? I don't get. What's this? What's this? This has got to be something to do with Halloween, hasn't it? This has to be some kind of scare attraction. I don't know. You never know. Oh, it's confusing though. I don't, I don't get it. Well, because they blocked all this off over here. Which is a very kind of scare mazy thing. And they've got curtains out the flaps. Oh. oh exciting. Yeah, very confusing. Mind you, good, good location for one, isn't it? It's nice, I like it. If they did do a scare maze, it'd be a good location. It's good to use some terror again. Yeah. But, right, next ride of the day, what is it, Amber? Nemesis. Uh, how do you feel about this one? Literally, there was no cute front row, so I was like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I like Nemesis in front row. I'm not a fan of it in any other row. No, no. I mean, I quite enjoy it as a ride, but I just think there's better B&M inverts out there. But maybe because it's just too close to us. Like, we visit it all the time, so it's kind of wasted on us now. But, um, and we only waited 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes is not row. bad for front row. Definitely the best place to sit on Nemesis. That's the whole queue, not just front row. That's yeah, that was the whole queue in total. stuff with you which I know a lot of people do um, you can't it, it's a bit of a pain to take them into the queue lines and onto the rides so they've got these really handy locker systems which uh, if you see from the footage um, there's a few different options for them decently priced uh, it seems like this one is only accepting card payment at the moment um, or I don't know whether that's just a normal thing it looks like they may have taken out the other systems but always worth uh, hiring a locker if you've got way too much stuff with you luckily I bring quite a small bag and I know Amber does as well but if you've got really big things pop them in a locker you can rent them for an hour if you're in the queue line it saves you a bit of time and space when you're on the ride platform yeah we're thinking about Has 
busy playing Pokemon Go again. As normal. <laughs> but uh, what do you think of your Amber? Obviously it's had the changes this year, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't really know what to think of it. Like, yeah. I like the new music, but I also like the old music. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. It's like... Everybody wanted a re like a redo of Jewel, but I, I don't think it's gone the way that people were expecting. Yeah. So I don't know I don't know how to feel. I quite enjoy it though. I had fun. We had to use the guns. Yeah. And I got almost forty thousand. Still pr still trying to break that forty K mark. Well I've I've, oh, wow. I've got nine 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 before. Have yeah. you? Yeah, not huh? the video. We've got photo to prove it. Ooh, it's news to me. We're just sitting here, aren't we? And uh Amber's found another tip given yeah. to you by Alton Towers themselves. Yeah, on the app. On the app, yeah. So which, I'd... if you don't have, download it. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's It's that's also really good for yeah. team times. Well, like, I just went on offers just to see. Save 10% at roller coaster restaurant. Take a seat at roller coaster restaurant between 3 and 4 and enjoy 10% off. Ooh, it's not bad, is it? I think that's great. Yeah, like, I guess 3 and 4 because it's quite a quiet time. So yeah. I guess they want people in. And I, I like roller coaster And it cuts coaster money off your bill. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely nice. worth it. So yeah, download the app because you can get all your offers on there. Yeah. And uh, down here you've got the queue times. So, just like the Thought Park one. Worth checking that, isn't it? Yeah. But queue times aren't too bad today, are they? Not too bad. Wicker Man 40 and 13, 40 and Galactica 40. Three. Oh, so uh, Amber's once again back with the tips and tricks <laughs> at Alton Towers. <laughs> back with those tips. Yeah, we um, are. So yeah, um, another thing if you don't want to be queuing for rides is ERT or early ride time, but that only counts for people who are Merlin annual pass holders or hotel guests. Um, so basically, there's like two situations at the moment. So until the 2nd of September, you've got Wicker Man, Oblivion, Enterprise, Cloud Cuckoo Land and CBB's Land open at 9.30. And after the 2nd of uh, September, it's all of the above apart from Cloud Cuckoo Land. Um, and also you just can't get ERT in Scarefest, fireworks and special events after the 5th of October. Which is alright because the parks are open till like 10 anyway. Yeah. So it's not an issue, it's like 10. 10 till 9 I think it's I 10 think. till 9 yeah so it's like 11 hours anyway so it's not a big issue yeah um, but yeah it's well worth getting down like early for ERT for then yeah like... yeah because Wicker Man's part of it and obviously it's the new ride this year everybody wants to do it so yeah if you really want to get on it get get down for ERT but, but, and just but, queue for it but then again like you either, either have to get here to the turnstiles I think early to get on Wicker Man or not really at all because yeah. the queue will just be big anyway if you don't get here early so yeah I mean at least during summer all, uh, they don't have the staggered ride openings, so everything does open at, at 10 o'clock, yeah. which is good. You guys yeah. voted for what we should do, and it looks like Hex is up, uh, next up on the menu, isn't yeah. it? The menu? Yeah, it's a menu. We're going to eat it. I'm going to eat I'm Hex. I'd eat Hex if I could. I'm not. But yeah, we're going to pop inside Hex, and we'll see you afterwards. We've got lovely fish here, Amber. A nice koi carp. It's a fish. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I like fish. I'm not saying it's too bad. It's a koi carp, though. Yeah, but it's a fish. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh, so much merchandise for sale. What they got, Amber? <laughs> nice wicker man me. hoodie. Nothing new, is there? Mm, I, didn't see. Mm. Mm. I thought that was new, but then I remember seeing it yeah. on opening day. I still like the angry, angry eyebrow bears. <laughs> Don't know why they're so evil. They've got like red eyes. Yeah, they're evil, aren't they? Plus these. We've got a mini one of them, haven't we? There he yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit broken though. I'm not sure about the quality of them, but quite nice. Not shot glasses. How much are they? Shot glasses. Didn't say how much they are. Ah, oh, here they are. Uh, 250 for a shot glass. It's not bad, is it, really? Let's have a look at the Smiler merch. I always like the Smiler merch. There's quite a lot of it. Along to the Smiler. Like spirally stuff. It's quite nice. Obviously, oh, this is quite nice. I don't know whether I've seen this before. I reckon it's been around before. Like, it's quite a nice one, isn't it? Lovely. Obviously, the resins. Not a big fan of the resins, but I know some people like them. Not a bad price, really. Eight fifty for it. It's all right, especially with Merlin discount. Three for two on the drinkware. So if you want whatever these are, <laughs> slash yards. I don't know. And the kind of typical hoodie there. Rita medals, Rita cups. Oh, I quite like the Rita cups. They're quite nice. The Rita resin has changed. This is somewhat new. I've not seen this this year. 
but that's quite nice. Again, 850 for the resin. I like the uh, car, they've got it right this time. That's a nice one. Quite impressed. Ah, what have you found, Amber? I found the bricks. Ah, oh, the bricks. Uh, are they telling you about the bricks? Mark on the park. Yeah, retail team. Hashtag walk. Mark on the park. Ooh, it's a bit uh, glary, there we go. See? So, yeah. If you haven't seen already, we uh, we have one of these. We bricks, have one uh, out the front of the resort. Yeah, they're quite nice, aren't they? I like them. We got it in gold. A little bit expensive, but you know, 10, if ten percent discount or twenty percent yeah. discount for annual pass, I think. But I think you know, if you've got some kind of emotional attachment to this yeah. this place, like uh, me and Amber do, then it's definitely worth it. Uh, uh, the new Alton Towers Monopoly. We need this at some point. Top trumps as well. They've always done this for a while, and the. Uh, this this one's really nice. I think this is new for this year. Yeah. But these are uh, these are really nice. I like the um, you can see it there. The box. It's kind of the skyline of the park, even though it's not the skyline. But yeah, lovely presented box. Snow globes, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, plenty of new merchandise and nice stuff for this year, isn't there, Amber? Socks. Yeah, socks. <laughs> and uh, I quite like this stuff. This uh, kind of unbranded stuff. Well, we had a lovely three, about well, three and a half hours, yeah. didn't we, at the park? So that was nice. Uh, it's quite nice for us to pop up and just enjoy a few hours on park because we yeah. live so close. It's quite, um, it's just a nice thing to be able to do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. like, I think we're quite lucky with where we live. But yeah, we enjoyed ourselves. A few new updates around the park, nothing really major, but um, hopefully you enjoyed the tips and tricks that we gave you. Hopefully it's given you some ideas for your time at the resort. Um, obviously we follow a few of these like while we're here. Yeah. But yeah, we had a lovely time and we're about to get the monorail back to the hotels just to uh, chill out for a bit. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys and we will see you in the next video. I don't know where it will be from, but wherever it's from, we'll see you then. Bye!